In this lecture, we will discuss some of the special cases of the Grashof's condition where the longest plus shortest is equal to the summation of the two other links. As mentioned in the previous lecture, in the case of equal L plus S and P plus Q, we will have the same subclasses as the less than condition. But here are some special considerations to notice. Let's start thinking about the situation of the longest and the shortest links. If they are adjacent, then we will have a change point, as you see in this example. I remind you that a change point happens when all the links become aligned. Just look at the motion of this linkage and notice how many times all the links become aligned and how the linkage might move after each of those change point situations. Let's watch again and look closer. In the first change point, the follower doesn't change its direction. That's also the case for the second change point. Now let's see what happens in the third one. As you see, this time the follower changed its direction of rotation. Let's see what happens in the next one. Again, the follower changed its direction. So the system might sometimes choose to change the direction and sometimes might not. It's not always randomly and might depend on some factors such as the gravity or the moment of inertia of the links. If the longest and shortest links are not adjacent, the system will never change its direction, even when all the links are aligned. As you see in this example, it happens twice that the links get aligned, but neither of them is a change point. The next subcase is when each of the longest and shortest is equal to one of the other two links. In that case, if the equal links are opposite, we might have a crank-crank linkage known as a parallelogram, where the follower rotates at a constant speed. But we should also notice that since in this case the longest and shortest links are adjacent, the change point might happen. And as you see in this working linkage, after changing the direction of motion for the follower, it is no longer a parallelogram. If the equal links are not opposite, meaning that they are adjacent, then we need to look at the base link. If the base link is the longest link, then we will have a crank rocker motion as you see here in this example. If the base link is the shortest, then as you see, we will have a crank crank motion. What is interesting about this crank crank case is that for a full round of the follower rotation, the driver needs to rotate two full rounds. As a quick summary, in general, the case of equal L plus S and P plus Q is similar to the case of less than, but there are some special situations. If the longest and shortest links are adjacent, the change point situation will happen. But if they are opposite, no change point might happen. If each of the longest and shortest is equal to one of the other two links, then if the equal links are opposite, we might have a crank-crank linkage known as a parallelogram, which might get affected by a change point. If the equal links are adjacent, we should look at the base link. If the longest is the base, we have a crank rocker motion. And if the shortest link is the base, then we have a crank crank motion.